All right, this is my GoPro Hero 7 Black Repair Adventure. This would be part two. Uh, I'm glad to report that I got the display that broke the front display. Came in a little envelope like this. See how flimsy this is? It was in here. I just wanted to show that how that was packaged. In a little baggie like this. And that's how it was in the mail that arrived yesterday. And I was able to um, place this back in here into the camera. Um, let me show you quick the details on this one. So the connector for this front display is here. Looks like those, right? You just clip it in there. It comes through this little hole here. Comes out here and then um, the display can be glued in here. Now, on the old one, um, we know that it was glued on in this area here, down here, here, and here. Let me show this again quick. So I'm holding this still here for a second, and then I show where the glue is. Okay, so. Um, how did I glue this in? What glue did I use? I had, last week I think it was, I had my uh, oil pan gasket uh, replaced. This is a Permatex silicone based gasket maker, silicone glue kind of thing. That's what I used, that cures within 24 hours. And after 24 hours, this thing is in place. Uh, probably safer than it was before. If we want to get this out again, it will break. But there is no reason for it to come out of that ever, unless it's broken. Okay, so <clears throat> that was the first step here. But while we are at this, I wanted to explain quick um, what to look for when you repair a GoPro Hero 7. <clears throat> this is my case here. Look, there's a little um, rubber sticker. We only keep those. Um, there is the rear display. Would be I think there is a small double-sided tape in this area. I'm not 100% certain. Don't recall that. But um, here is the area where it was glued in. Not sure what glue to use there yet. And then we have here an LED thing here. This is not an LED, it's um, like a transfer kind of situation. So the LED is here on the board, there, and it illuminates this plastic piece here, and then it will light up here. Now, there was people suggesting to do this with a hot air gun to get this hot, and then the display would loosen or anything. I don't think it's a super great idea because then this thing is gonna melt and then how? who knows how this fits in the new display. So mine is a little bit molten here. Got a little too hot. So that's something to look for. I would not do that. I would not uh, hot glue it. Um, <coughs> for sure, <coughs> when the display breaks, I would put a piece of tape over it if you do that, then all those little tiny glass pieces are not flying around. They stick to the tape. The display was in like this. That's how it was glued in. And there's those connectors here that would... Uh, those connectors that connect to the main board here. Right? So yeah, I would break it out with a screwdriver from this side and then have this tape on there and there will be a lot of um, glass and glue stuck into this area here. And that's where you have to like just chisel it off with the screwdriver or what. Okay, now you have to obviously be very careful to not damage this edge here if you want to have your camera look good. And then I wanted to give the quick hint how to get the front plate off, right? So 
So this is the front plate that has to be replaced. So the front plate is super glued in and it will not come off without being damaged. There is no way. Now, as you can see here with mine, um, the damage I have to the camera here at this edge from getting, trying to get in here. Uh, don't try to get into this gap because um, what you want to keep intact is your case, this case. Those edges you want to keep intact. So that's where you have to be careful. You see here I have a few little small dents in here. Since you replace this anyway, this is your target. This is the piece you want to damage when you get in there. Okay. So let's take a look at the old piece. This is the old piece. Um, I was relatively careful. You see the edge of the old piece is in pretty good shape. Yeah, that doesn't help me now. Okay. Um, let's take a look where it's glued on. Okay, I'm gonna hold this again. It's glued on here. This is super glue, hard super glue. I think it's epoxy. For the feel of it, how hard it is, that is definitely in epoxy. So they epoxied this piece on all the way around here and here in this corner. There. The rest here is, I think, double sided tape in this area, if any. And then here is a clip. This thing clips into the lens, under the lens, and that's it for the rest of it, you know? Then the lens cover will push this piece down and hold it in place. But to make it waterproof, you need to get this epoxy seal working again, okay? If you get a replacement piece here, you need to make sure there is a protective foil on here, so you need to t take that off. I don't know if I can show this here. There is so to get no dirt or anything on this piece, there is this little label on there. The label you have to remove. Here there is the little here is the handle here. Look. You see that? I think now you can see it. It's hard you with the glass. There's a little handle where you grab this label and then you just peel it off. Okay? And then I show you here now where to put the, the glue. Let me hold this like this. Still, and then let's look the glue you have to put here. All the way around. There it is. And then in the corner. That's where you have to put the glue. And when you have the glue on there, then <coughs> you would put this on basically. Now, this would be this piece, right, where it glues onto. This piece has to be super clean. Also, the front the new front display, if you have one, has also a little thing on here, a little protective. See that? So you peel that off after you put the glue on, I would say. Not before, I don't know. You don't want to get any glue on the display, right? So I would peel this off probably after I put the glue on here. And you don't put the glue on here anyway. So we put the glue on the face plate. So this is going to be clean. Okay. Now, um, so this is going to be on here like this. And you have to be careful to not do it now because um, the little clip from the front plate will lock into this little groove. So once it's on there, it doesn't want to come off again, right? There. Can I do this here like this? I don't want to glue it. I don't want to click it on there. But this is basically how it's going to sit. The front place display on it, right? See that? Now, um, yeah, so... Once this is all put back together, you have the glue on this piece, and then you just put it on here, and you have to hold it there for a while until the epoxy is hardened. Epoxy is also good because it will only take an hour, I think, to harden. So 
that will be working well. And make sure that you remove all the old stuff around here, that it doesn't become too thick. When you put it together, right? So that you have a flush surface. And um, I think that's it so far for this moment now. Try not to um, put the face on here like this, what I'm doing here. Don't click it on all the way for now. It's very hard to get off if it's only on this piece. Okay, so where is my thing here? Okay, when you take it apart, before you take the display out, out because of those wires, it is recommended to take the battery holder out. That battery holder is not a big problem either. I don't know right now how it goes in. Where's my battery here, there? Yeah, it goes, it comes in here somewhere. Like this. So it goes in here. There is a little. Now is the cable in the way. Here it fits exactly here. Push it. Down. Oh my God! Push it down and over in that direction. Like this, and then it goes over in this direction there. And there is going to be a screw inside. In there, in the middle there, in the back. There is a screw down there that screws that battery thing in case, um, in place, and all those cables and wires go through here on the side. So I don't know what is better to take this out first. easy to wrestle this stuff around in here. Especially when you try to keep this in view of the camera. to get this out here. And the reason why it's so difficult is because of this little metal mesh here, what is supposed to keep a connection between the metal here and the metal of the battery. Okay, so we just saw that from this flap here, this one, the thing came out, the pin here, just fell out. You're gonna see this goes in here like this, like that, and then on top is this little plastic piece here. Can I show that? So the the pin goes in here, and then there's a little rubber knob up here that keeps it in place, that this doesn't slide out. Okay, this is for this little piece here. Yeah, there. There's the rubber pin missing already here on this part. But that's how that flap comes out too, I'm 100% sure. Plus it has a spring in it. Okay, just in case you find this little rubber piece, that's where it belongs in that hole. 
Okay, so this was long enough already, 15 minutes talk, and I hope this helps one or the other if you want to replace your own. Okay, I see you in the third video. The third video will be how I put this whole thing together and how it still works after I do that.